spreads with all the leaked footage from Comic-Con this year, how did D23 keep its footage from leaking? It took only minutes at Comic-Con to see the Deadpool video, but as of right now, I have not seen a single picture of the Jungle Book. Thanks and keep up the great work. Yeah, it it was where we were in that panel um, at, at D23. And first of all, as we're walking in, we had a, a guy escorting us in who's like, no pictures before the presentation, no pictures during the presentation, no pictures or video after the presentation. Do not take, take out your phone and tweet if you want, but don't take a picture. It's like, all right. And then they had like, like, I know they had some at Comic-Con, but I'm telling you, it was up. They had security constantly watching us like walking up and down the aisles, all the places with these like eyepieces that can detect like camera lenses and stuff like that, like watching you like a hawk. And, and so that kind of prevented you from, plus if any of us in the media did it, I mean, we would never be invited to another uh, Disney thing again, nor should we be. But this funny thing happened. Christian and I, we get escorted in and we take our seats and we just got in the speech, no pictures, no pictures, no video, no pictures. All right, all right, no problem. And there's this guy sitting in front of us, right? I can tell you right in front of us, who sits down, pulls out this camera that's like this big on a big monopod and then an $18,000 lens. That's, I'm not kidding, about this big. It's like, and he's sitting there with this big thing and like me and Christian are just looking at the guy and Christian says to me, it's like he's just sitting there and just took his dick out. And he's just sitting there kind of conspicuous. I think this, no picture of this guy with his gigantic camera mounted right there. And we said, what's going on? Five minutes later, sure enough, a Disney representative came by and says, dude, what part of no pictures didn't you understand? And so he left. But, um, but yeah, they, they're being vigilant about it. And I think the fans at D23 are just a little bit more respectful. It's like, hey, you've invited us in to come in and watch this stuff, and you're asking in return, don't take pictures and don't video it? We're going to honor that. We're not douchebags. So, I mean, that's that's kind of one way of looking at it. Anyway, Mark, you were in there. What do you think was that? What is preventing stuff from leaking out from D23 that they couldn't stop it? Well, I don't, I don't think it's the it's the level of douchery or non-douchery <laughs> from the fan base. I think that it has everything to do with security because God love everybody at San Diego <clears throat> Comic-Con. You're only as strong as your weakest link when it comes to protecting the material in the room. So San Diego Comic-Con is very well run. The security, the higher up positions do their job and they know how to delineate responsibility. But then you have people walking around with shirts on that say that they're official there and they tell you 10 different things about what's legal and what's not legal. So, at Comic-Con. Yeah, at yeah, Comic-Con. So it yeah, gets very right. jumbled and they just don't seem to be as what you said, vigilant. You go to D23, it's an entirely different scenario. It's like they hired the Expendables to be security there. I think I saw a couple <laughs> Predators being invisible, ready to kill anybody that tried to take a picture because you're right, they had the infrared, everybody was walking around, they just cared about protecting that more than they did at San Diego Comic-Con. And it's not a matter of size because San Diego Comic-Con, I think Hall H fits about 6,000 people. This D23 hall fits 7,500 people yeah. in there, and I haven't seen a leak from the Jungle Book yet. So it, kudos to them, kudos to Disney for protecting their properties as much as possible. And that's who uh, all these other studios should put the pressure on next year in San Diego to say, look, we don't want our stuff to get out. And in order to do that, we'll, we're willing to help pony up cash or whatever it takes to get real security in there to make sure it doesn't happen. You know, at some point, Disney is just going to flat out pull out a Comic-Con. And when you go to D23, you go, yeah, and now I get why. D23 was so much better run. It was, and everybody was super helpful. All the staff knew exactly what they were doing. And nothing felt chaotic mm -hmm. at D23. And yet, the numbers were there, huge numbers, like 7,500 people in that room. But it felt smoothly run. It felt like a well-oiled machine. Everybody knew what they could and couldn't do. You didn't have people that had to sleep overnight for three days because everything is more be better run that way. I, I, if I'm Disney, I'm saying, why on earth would we ever go back to Comic Con when we can just do that? You can, own thing? you can go back to Comic Con. You can have a ball there, but you're not going to bring your prize footage. I'm glad that they didn't bring the Jungle Book to Comic Con because it yes. probably would have gotten out. And especially with something like the Jungle Book, which is almost totally done. That footage is, and that footage looked amazing. I don't Incredible. know how that footage would have looked if I had taken it with my iPhone 6. It probably wouldn't have looked as good. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And you didn't have it. You unfortunately couldn't be because you were still in Australia. I was in Australia. 